Five suspects arrested in connection with the death of a 23-year-old college student who allegedly fell from a seven-story building in Gasharage, Ruaka, will remain in custody for 10 days as police conclude investigations into the incident. The late Catherine Jerry, a student at the Kenya Institute of Management, had visited her friend for a party at their apartment last Sunday before tragedy struck while she was on the rooftop with her friend's boyfriend. Victoria Wairimo is consoled by friends outside Lim apartment in Gasharage in Ruaka. Their visit here meant to gather more information on the circumstances under which her younger sister, Catherine Jerry, died while visiting a friend. The apartment caretaker, Elvis Mboy, says Jerry had visited the friend who was in a boyfriend's house. The home was the venue of a party on Sunday. At around 9.30 p.m., Jerry left the house in the company of her friend's boyfriend and went to the rooftop where there is a pavilion. At around 11 p.m., Mboy, the caretaker, had a loud bang and upon searching, saw Jerry's body lying on the ground floor with blood stains. Nikama wali room sana alitoka na tenant wetu, wakapanda 7th floor pavilion. Na tenant initially ni 6th floor. Sa si kwa tu hapa chindo tusikio sauti. Ya kugonga kitu kama ni kama mkeka imeanguka. Sasa juu gari liko imefunika pale, hakuna vile ningeenda ni sema ningeenda divide directly. Lakini vile nisimama niliposimama kwenda kuangalia, nikapata ni mtu. Mboi informed her friends who are still in the house partying and they all rushed outside to check on Jerry. The body of the late Jerry was then taken to Kihara Hospital Mortuary by police awaiting the post-mortem exercise to determine the cause of her death. Kama familia tunataka kujua ni kama ajirusha ama ajirusha and what exactly was happening uko juu. Kiamba Deputy County Commissioner Peter Miner confirmed the arrest of three men and two women in connection to the incident. At the time that the incident happened, uh, she was in company of five people in that room and uh, those are the people in custody right now helping the police in the investigations. The suspects who appeared in court on Tuesday will remain in custody for 10 days to allow police to conclude investigations into the matter. For now, Jerry's family hopes that the truth will be revealed and those found to have been involved will face the law.